This is exam two, number five. You're asked to solve for D in this equation. You can work from either end. We have to get D by itself. We can't multiply in the middle, so we can either work on the left end or the right end. So let's multiply the left end by A. So A goes there and A goes here, the left end of both sides. We get A, A, B, C squared, D, B inverse A equals, put the same A here. It has to be on the same end of both sides. I'm sorry, I don't want to use A. I want to use A inverse, I apologize, A inverse. Multiply by A inverse, here and here. These two cancel. These two do not cancel because they're not next to each other. So we have B C squared D B inverse A equals A inverse C A. Same thing. Let's put a B inverse here and a B inverse here. They'll cancel, and we'll get c squared d b inverse a equals b inverse a inverse c a. I'll put a c negative 2 here and a c negative 2 here, and cancel. d b inverse a equals c negative 2 b inverse a inverse c a. All right, now we have to start working from the right end because we've already got D here. We can't multiply in the middle, so I can only multiply something here. What should I put there to kill off the A? A inverse. If I put it on the right end of the left side, I have to put it on the right end of the other side to keep it balanced. These cancel. And in fact, these also cancel. That's lucky. And we only have one thing left. To get B, D by itself, I need to put a B here and a B here. These cancel. And I'm left with D equals. That's the only possible answer.